This is Omen. I'll explain his name later. The liquid gold that comes out of his little fish body might just save the ocean. There is a wildly fascinating truth I was not expecting to discover when learning about fish waste. But first we need to start at the beginning with drinking water because fish actively drink water, but do they pee? I have literally spent weeks learning about fish pee. I know, I need another hobby. But until then, fish, like all living organisms, have to get rid of waste that builds up in their body. Poop. I am talking to you about poop. They aren't like birds where the pee and poop all come out together in one giant glob. Fish actually use a very special process to get rid of waste, but it differs fish to fish. And that different process is wildly important because if they did not have it, fish would explode. And to stop the exploding fish phenomenon, we need to take a look at the water they swim in. Is it fresh water or is it salt water? No matter what water they swim in, it all comes down to one process, osmosis. The word's actually Greek for push, and it allows in our case for salt molecules to move from a higher concentration to a lower concentration until they become equal on either side of a membrane. So in animal cells, osmosis helps in absorbing water from the intestines to the blood, or in our fish case, they absorb water through their gills, which is essentially their way of drinking water. But what does this actually have to do with the exploding fish phenomenon? Let's say your saltwater fish named Nemo. Scratch that. I do not need Disney's legal team coming after me. Omen. You are the saltwater fish named Omen. And Omen's gonna experience a life in a hypertonic solution, meaning the ocean has a higher salt concentration than Omen the fish. So if ocean fish did not actively drink water in order to get enough water into their system, they would legitimately shrivel up and die. Shrivel up and die. <laughs> But because of osmosis, they actually have the ability to direct water into their digestive tract and their gills have special cells that constantly pump salt water out while keeping the fresh water in their bodies. Okay, salt water fish would shrivel up and die without osmosis, but what about fresh water fish? What happens to them? The freshwater fishies are gonna explode. Well, you see, the freshwater fish would explode. So let's pretend you were Goldie the goldfish, because that's what my childhood one was named. We're gonna keep you from exploding by putting you in a hypotonic solution. That means you have a higher salt concentration inside your body than outside. So you, Goldie the freshwater fish, has a blood and body fluid that are much saltier than the water you're swimming in. So water's getting pulled in through your gills through osmosis. They also direct all the water that comes in through their mouths out through their gills. And this allows them to gather even more salt from the water. If they were not able to use osmosis to balance everything out, we would have exploding fish in lakes, streams, rivers, and basically all over the world because they would have way too much salt in them all the time. But fish's bodies just like ours need a certain concentration of salt to function best. They can't just allow water to diffuse freely through their gills. They also need to actively drink water like us. <sighs> Which brings us to fish pee, the big topic. A lot of fish get rid of pee through a tiny opening called a pore, and it's near their rear end. But in some fish, waste also goes through their skin and their gills. So when a fish pees, whether through its pore or through its skin and gills, the coral reef benefits. The coral waves their tentacles around like tiny little arms to grab the nutrients from the pea and absorb them, helping the reef grow bigger and stronger. And there's roughly 3.5 trillion fish living in the ocean. And I don't even think we've discovered all of them because we don't even know how deep the ocean is. That's another video for another time. But these 3.5 trillion fish living in the ocean are so important to the ocean's ecosystem and the reef. I mean, you might think it's gross that you're swimming through a collected urine of the ocean's creatures. You peed in the ocean? You look disgusting! Okay. But this pea is critically important to the nutrient budget of different ecosystems. Fish have kidneys which produce urine containing ammonium, phosphorus, urea, and nitrous waste. And the expelled urine encourages that plant growth on the coral reefs. And then downstream, you also get the increased fertilization of algae, seagrass, and then it in turn provides food for the fish. So they're basically eating their own pea. More of my urine for me. And if the supply of fish urine falls through overfishing, for example, reef biodiversity suffers. And speaking of suffering, you would be suffering if you didn't subscribe because we are just getting started with answering curious questions in the world. 